Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the Vigilance Elite channel. It's not like we went anywhere. And if you did, shame on you. You should be social distancing. But uh, look, we just heard from our president. Looks like social distancing got extended until April 30th. That means not much has changed and it's only expecting it to get worse, unfortunately. But um, we all have a check coming. 1200 bucks, it sounds like. <clears throat> so let's talk about what to spend that on. For starters, I just want to say it would be a very bad idea for you to go buy a bright, new, shiny, blingy toy. This might be the last 1200 bucks you're getting for a long time. So <clears throat> I would uh, use it for your rent, use it for food, use it for your bills, whatever. But if you absolutely 100% have to go buy some stuff with that money. Um, I'm going to give you a list of five things that I would buy. And I'm going to make this list as if I have nothing right now other than a shelter, food, water, whatever. But um, starting at the basics, okay? In no particular order, this is what I would get. I would go get a year's supply of food or as much food as you can. There's a lot of these companies that make food, <clears throat> long-term food storage. Most of them are good for about 25 years. Look guys, I have it and it feels pretty damn good to have that much food stored up just sitting there waiting for a rainy day. One, it's going to keep you from going to the store, which is going to minimize exposure from uh, anybody that has the virus and if you have the virus it's going to keep you from exposing yourself to anybody that doesn't have the virus so i'd get online look around for some of these food storage companies like i said they're good for 25 years and if you don't ever need it then you don't have to use it all right but you have it for a rainy day <clears throat> another thing i would get is i would invest in a seriously nice medical bag or and or medical kit with your personal protective equipment flu medications all that kind of stuff but on top of that look you need tourniquets you need bandages you need band-aids you need uh, antiseptics you need all that kind of stuff okay the hospitals are obviously overwhelmed right now so if you hurt yourself in your vehicle or at home or any of that kind of stuff, all right, guess what? There probably isn't gonna be anybody to come help you, and you're probably not gonna get the same kind of care as you would've got two months ago. So I would invest in a really good med bag with a lot of uh, high quality medical equipment and start learning how to use that stuff because it's not looking like there's any relief coming anytime soon. So a good med bag. <clears throat> a deep freezer. A deep freezer would be a good thing to have. Why would you want a deep freezer? Because just like everybody, everybody's running out of food, right? So when you do go to the store, if you don't get the food, the uh, dry food storage stuff, then you can stock up on meat. You can get a side of beef for five, 600 bucks. You can stock up on frozen vegetables and keep that stuff stored in your deep freeze. There's a lot more room in the deep freeze than your regular refrigerator. And um, once again, that goes to minimal exposure. It'll be less runs to the store, and um, which keeps you and your family a lot safer. <clears throat> Another good thing to invest in would be a garden. All right, you don't have to have a big lawn or a lot of land to start a garden, okay? If you live in a city, maybe you have a balcony. You can get planter boxes, put it in there. If you have a window, put it by a window. Start growing your own vegetables. You don't have to start with a seed. Instead of going to the grocery store 50 times to get new more vegetables, all right, you can get ones that have already started at hardware stores or places like that, okay? <clears throat> department stores. They sell stuff that's already sprouted, that's almost ready to go. A garden would be a good thing to invest in. Last but not least, guys, if I didn't have one, I would invest in a firearm. 
something to protect yourself with. People are gonna start getting desperate. The longer this goes on, the longer the economy is in the tank, people are gonna start getting desperate. That always leads to a higher crime rate, all right? And if you don't buy off on that, then look, it's all over the news, all over the place. Jails are letting prisoners out right now. They're going back out into the uh, society. And um, anyways, you don't wanna get caught up in that stuff. So I would invest in a firearm. I would get something that's comfortable, that you're comfortable with. And I would get some ammunition. And yes, you are gonna get price gouged, unfortunately, because that's how it is. But <clears throat> you're not gonna regret having that either. So there's five practical things that you can use your stimulus check on to get through this thing. So best of luck to you. I'll be putting more information out. I put two other videos out on this subject. You might wanna check them out. They're linked up top and uh, they'll be linked at the end of the video. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We're gonna get through this. The last thing I'm gonna say, once again, I say it every video, look guys, don't panic. The worst thing you can do in a situation like this is panic, all right? Take a step out, look at what everybody's doing, think about if it makes sense, and then make a calculated, educated decision, okay? All right, be safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you soon.